Hello, Metal Canyon. I am watching you on YouTube. I am uh, Jay Stank, and I am one of your awesome fans. I have been commenting a lot, and uh, I love all your videos, and I notice you're doing Open XCOM, which is awesome. But as you can see, everyone. Well you are on... Damn it. Uh, the point .9 version, which is a version that was probably out maybe a year ago. Uh, you can download to their latest nightly build, which has a whole ton of new updates and features. I'm going to show you how to do that today. So you have to go to this website, which I will link in the description of the video. And it'll bring you to this page here. And basically, what I'm going to show you how to do is upload to... I know this is where you got the game, but you go to Downloads. Instead of going to Milestone Builds, go to Nightly Builds. And then click... Open XCOM Jitmaster 24, the latest one, the one that's on top. It might be different. They've been updating this. There's a little updates every single day, and these are all the updates. But this is the latest one on top. So click that, and it downloads your file. Okay, once that's done downloading, you click it and then you minimize your browser move this over there the next step is to get on Steam go to your XCOM folder and right click properties uh, let's see browse local files and then that'll bring up your your folder the XCOM folder from Steam that is the original game. So, what you want to do is you want to copy that, copy the whole folder to your desktop, okay so there it is, and also you want to right the next step is to op open your original folder. Uh, this is what you downloaded. So um, you have to unzip this one. So uh, go to your regular, uh, you want to cl click extract all, hit browse, uh, make a new folder on your desktop, so make new folder and then you will call it something like brand newest XCOM B and then hit OK and then extract. And that'll extract all the files out of the thing. So now you have that folder, right? Okay, so this is the, uh, the, the old game that is on Steam that you have copied to your desktop and this is the new folder that you just downloaded. So this folder doesn't have all the data in it. So all you have to do is go to XCOM. The, so you go to from UFO Defense, which is the original folder. You click on the XCOM button. And you have to copy all of these folders over here. Into, so you click, I'm sorry, but you click the data folder. And here's all the data. So you copy everything that's in here over to the data. And then you want to put yes. And then you want to say move and replace and do this for all conflicts. Okay? And then after that, uh, you run to run the game, you go back to that folder, click on that button, run. Please work. Yep. And there it is. Okay, some of the new features of this is first of all, everything, the whole window is resizable, so you can make it as big as you want. Um, you, if you are worried about losing uh, all the stuff that you recorded earlier, it's not a bad, not a problem whatsoever, because you can go back and say, 
uh, it will not break your old saves. Also, uh, there are so many more options now. Um, I don't know if you wanted to mess up, you keep it, keep your LP very, what do you call it, um, original, but you can uh, change all the options. There's also XCOM utility, and everything is awesome there. So, uh, okay, so basically, and then you can change your resolutions, you can do all kinds of good stuff with this. I like to keep mine on resizable, so that way I can make it full screen like that, and that way you can record full screen. Um, what else? Oh, also you have arrows, time units, tooltips, death notifications. That'll help you out for whenever you want to know who who died and whatnot. And these are really cool, the arrows and time tips. I'll show you that real quick. I'll go into a, a new battle and show you all the new features. Let's see here, Sky Ranger. Yeah, well that's all fine. Just hit OK. OK. Uh, first of all, oh, I can't do that with this, but if you go into the inventory screen, everything is stackable now. So, as you can see, I'm looking, I'm looking at uh, Gil's uh, Frankus here, and if I want to know how far do I have to move Gillis to get him to still have a a, a shot, I just, it's green, and if it's out here, it's yellow, and if it's out there, it's red, which means like that's the farthest he can move. Also, you hit uh, auto shot; it uh, tells you the percent chance that you're going to hit there, which is really really cool. I like that. So if I go ahead and shoot this um, this ethereal here, okay, so he missed. Uh, the aim shot's always 47%, no matter how far away you are. So that's really neat. And uh, we'll just auto shot that guy again. Okay, so we killed him. And there you go. Um, I don't know if there's really anything else. I'll show you some more things. Uh, let's see, exit that, game options. Uh, Geoscape, let's see here, Battlescape, Advanced, Video. Okay, you go into Video, and then you can change this uh, screen resolution to times two, or I'm sorry, we'll go like half display, I think. I can't remember which one it is. You hit OK, and now all of a sudden you're zoomed out. So now you can see the whole battlefield. in a zoomed out fashion instead of like all zoomed in and stuff so that make it easier you can also well you can explore the new features but I think that you should uh, go ahead and update to the nightly build you don't have to restart uh, any recording or anything you just update it and then from then on you'll be a nightly build and that's pretty much it if you have any questions please let me know uh, I can just give you this folder Play it from there. But uh, my name is uh, Jay Stank. I also do LPs as well, but um, I really, really enjoy your your stuff. And um, well, have a nice day, and I hope you upgrade to the latest nightly build. Until next time, this is Jay Stank signing out.